what's up guys welcome to my channel um, today I'm gonna show you how to remake uh, Chainsmokers new song called iPad as always uh, we're gonna go through the sections here the BPM for this one is 122 and let's start with the intro So here we have this piano sound. So this is a Logic stock piano, it's called Yamaha Grand Piano. Um, I also used sample delay, channel EQ, stereo delay and reverb. Okay so now we have these drums. Um, all of these tracks are going through drums bus and also I did some automation for the channel EQ I cut the lows and highs and achieved this sound then we have this pad sound I also have automation um, as you can see uh, it starts at 710 Hertz and then it as it moves closer to the chorus it opens up and becomes brighter and brighter for this I used alchemy uh, synth voice preset and airy strings uh, settings so now in the middle of intro we have this bass uh, for this I used alchemy as well so I actually used uh, Logic Stock plugins for uh, every single sound in here, except the drums. Drums are uh, samples from Splice, but for this one I used 80s classic synth bass preset. Uh, these are the settings in the middle between thick and solid 2. Then we also have channel EQ, got the highs and mids a little bit. So then we have another pad sound. gives you that atmosphere feel. For this I used Alchemy, uh, this preset and mm, deep uh, settings. So I also used uh, Channel EQ, cut the lows. So now we can move to pre-chorus. So here uh, I introduced the lead sound, this was very difficult to make because as you can see there's a lot of layers here and that is because I didn't know what kind of instrument they used in the original so I had to improvise and uh, search for something similar. So let's start with this rain harp. So for this I used Sculpture, uh, presets called Rain Harp, I also have this Amp, Reverb and Channel EQ. So the next layer is also from Alchemy, uh, Punchy 80 Synth, these are the settings, I used Reverb, Channel EQ. Uh, the notes uh, stay the same then we have this uh, third layer it's also from alchemy i use metallic edge lead uh, these are the settings and we have this uh, reverb on so channel eq and the fourth layer is also from alchemy glass xylophone stack 90s preset and again some uh, reverb channel eq probably hear that in the beginning uh, there's this uh, filter opening up type of sound 
and I achieved this uh, using single EQ and I did some automation where it goes from 700 Hertz to 4100 and it achieved that sound. So then we have this uh, piano, it's playing the same thing as in the intro. Uh, bass line stays the same as well. Um, so for the drums, uh, we have only a clap here. And this time, if we go to drums bus, press uh, A, we can see that there's no more automation. Everything is at maximum, which means that channel EQ looks like this. There's no high or low cuts anymore. Then we have the same uh, pad sound and a new one here. So this is from Alchemy. It's called Dying Angel. Very sad. Settings are soft vocal pad. Then we have this uh, the same synth voice pad playing the same. And at the end of the pre-chorus we have this sweep. Okay, so now we're at the chorus. start with the lead sound so here we have the same notes playing in the lead sound as it was in the pre-chorus but now we have two more uh, layers so this is the preset here we have reverb channel EQ and the second layer is this one So uh, this is the preset, these are the EQ settings. So for the lead, uh, the notes stay the same except uh, in the second part of, part of the chorus, um, I added the high notes. Uh, then we have some new notes for the piano. Then we have the same notes uh, as it was for piano, just for this ensemble power pluck. And for this I used Alchemy uh, ensemble power pluck and little pluck settings. Some channel EQ, sample delay, uh, made it wider. And here we have compressor. And as you can see here in the sidechain section, uh, it says bus 2, so that every time a lead uh, comes in, this power plug uh, ducks the sound and gives more space for the lead, so it sounds more clear. So I also have uh, new notes for bass. So then we have these drums. And the last thing we have here uh, are these pads. So here in the second part of the chorus, uh, you heard uh, this part. And this part is being played by Humanoid Choir, uh, Vox Hello, channel EQ settings like this. And then also I forgot to mention that there are these horns also playing the same thing. And also there's a downlifter here. So now we're at the verse part. Uh, 
here the piano and the bass is the same as it was in the intro uh, the drums sounds like this so I will quickly show you this clap as it's something uh, more complex sounding so here I used uh, echo and these are the settings if you uh, play uh, these claps without echo it sounds like this and then also we have these pads So, and they're playing also the same thing as in the intro part. So now in the pre-chorus, we have pretty much the same pre-chorus as uh, the first one, except we don't have these claps anymore. We have a uh, hi-hat here and yeah, that's about it. Now in the second chorus, um, everything pretty much stays the same but in the second part of the chorus we take away uh, the lead sound these two pads and these horns yeah and then it just kind of continues like that till the bridge starts <laughs> part we have this piano playing the same notes as in the intro we have this hi-hat have this crash at the beginning but uh, the main uh, thing here is these pads so I'm gonna open up this pad bus and I'll press a and you will see that here there's this automation where basically by using this auto filter uh, I'm gonna create like wobbly effect here so now uh, for the piano there's new notes here So and here definitely adjust the velocities for notes so uh, to make sure it sounds more realistic. Um, the same notes are applied for power pluck. And the bass is playing this. So these are drums here. And at the end, we also have a new pad coming in for the bridge. So this is um, Heavenly Vox Lush Solo um, preset. Then also we have this uh, synth sound here. This one is from Alchemy, it's called 80 Synth Pop Lead. And here, uh, just before the last chorus starts, we also have uh, the main lead sound, but it's playing at like 700 hertz, so you don't really hear it too much. <laughs> ok 
Okay guys, so now we're at the last chorus. Here I added these horns. So for this I used a uh, stock horns plugin from Logic. Uh, I also have reverb. Then we have this 80 synth pop lead track I used alchemy some reverb uh, then we have uh, two layers of the lead sound and they're playing the same notes as horns so the piano uh, power flux and bass stay the same here we have drums pads last thing we have here are this downlifter and sweep. In the second part of the chorus we just take away the horns uh, and all of these synths. Alright guys so that's it uh, with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, here I also included this uh, Vox track which is basically uh, the actual Chainsmokers uh, vocals. Um, they're very low quality but I wanted to add them just so you can see how this instrumental works with the vocals. So that's that. And of course, you can uh, get this project. Uh, there's a link in the description. For those of you who are interested in more uh, Chainsmokers uh, remakes, uh, they're dropping a new album soon. So I think I will be making uh, more of these. So stay tuned, subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you next time.